Welcome to another three minute video from MathWizFlashcards.com. Today's topic quadratics, part one. Here we go. A quantity squared equals 25, or 100, or 16, or 3. 25 and 116 are called perfect squares, and then 5 and 10 and 4 are obvious solutions. 3 is not a perfect square, but the square root of 3 is a solution here. But let's not forget our sign numbers. Negative 5, negative 10, negative 4, when squared, are also solutions to the first three equations. And negative square root of 3 squared is a solution to the last equation. So let's keep this in mind as we look at a few new problems. In our first example, quantity squared equals 36. Therefore, quantity x plus 4 equals 6 or negative 6. So x equals 2 or negative 10. In our second example, quantity squared equals 25. Therefore, quantity x minus 2 equals 5 or negative 5. So x equals 7, or negative 3. Our third example is slightly more complicated. Quantity squared equals 2. Therefore, quantity x plus 1 equals square root of 2, or negative square root of 2. So x equals square root of 2 minus 1, or negative square root of 2 minus 1. You may have learned other methods to solve quadratic equations. Here's the first equation. Come back again. And let's solve it using a different method, which we will examine in a future video. First, let's square the left side. Next, let's subtract 36 from both sides. Now let's factor and finish using the multiplication property of 0, solving x equals 2, or x equals negative 10. Same answers as before, a different method. You can practice more problems like these, or other high school math problems, by visiting mathwizflashcards.com, making math easier.